Well, welcome to what is hopefully a lot more, more of these things. I'm currently getting, putting together my island for Burning Man and uh, set, hopefully setting up an event to share with the rest of you. With the rest of you all, so. Hey. So, hey, you know what? Welcome. And let's dive right in. And May as well not waste any opportunity. Not waste any opportunities, right? Okay, uh, that'll keep. So let's start. So let's start with the with the obvious stuff. Welcome to uh, my Animal Crossing Island, uh, Key Xanadu. It's a, Key Xanadu. It's named after uh, Camp. After some campgrounds where I could, would ordinarily be going to a regional Burning Man event right now, you know, the plans, you know, plans that I made back in the before time, so to speak. So to speak. So I decided to bring the Burning Man experience here rather than wait to get, rather than wait for things to get better because they don't seem to be doing that anytime soon. Well, let's. And let's get rolling, and I mean that quite liter literally, because let's start with disorientation. A little, jo little joke there, we're at the, we're at the real Burning, burning Man Playa, they have you rolling around in the dust to, uh, get, to get properly baptized and everything else. And yeah, it wouldn't be a pro wouldn't be a burn if I didn't have uh, the gate set up with uh, waivers to be signed, waivers to get signed, and all that other good stuff. Good stuff going on, as well as a quick introduction to the to the ten principles. If you put, let's see if I can get the camera to do a little bit better. No, that's not good. Oh, okay, that'll. Almost had it there, but uh, you're probably noticing I said ten principles, but uh, there's a le there's eleven shots here, and oh goodness! Well, that's why this is the first stream, folks. Getting all this up, getting all this nonsense out of the way, and let's. What is going on here? Okay, every. All right, they're back. Shoot, I thought I... Yeah, like I said, first stream, it's gonna... First stream, things are going to be a little rough. So, let's just get... So, let's just... Uh, get those out... Get those out of the way. I decided to do... I decided to make uh, tie-dye shirts based off of all ten off of the icons for all ten principles, plus consent. Even though, you know, that's not really a principle. That consent is the law. <laughs> and bonus points if any of y'all can tell which can tell which is which. Honestly, I. Tell Honestly, I just honestly I had to refer back to the things constantly and just uh, ma making the shirts to, to do this. And quite frankly, you know, trying to do, trying to get these down to the right si size for Animal Crossing shirts took quite a bit of, a, of an effort to begin with. It is what. It is where it is. Let's uh, cut th cut through here and continue with uh, with our presentation. We have the opening sign for, wh for when we actually have folks over here. Right now. <laughs> it's worth turning on here. You know, we've got the gift we've got the gift rug full of uh, all sorts of lovely DIY recipes, as well as well. Good 
stuff. We have we have this lovely sign sign Trekkies Attitude and and now we have some some camps here. Mar uh, Marina's being hiding under a tree right now, but I put her in charge in charge of all of the, of the uh, <laughs> instruments here. Marina's uh, toot sweet if you if you like, and Sherb's having a love a lovely bit of fun with the wood with the wooden fish right now. We have we have Dom, a, fi a fire spinner, or at least this is where he would be, be if he were, at, were nearby. And I have a nice and a decent place uh, roped up. Oh, there he is. Let's see a little thing. But yes, yes, of course we had to get the tie the sheep with the tie dye shirt involved. Quite frankly, I probably need to go ahead and clean this up. Clean this up a little. Having uh, fl having flowers growing where he's supposed to be fire spinning is a bit of a no-no. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Good luck actually getting him to do to do that with him. To do that right now, but at the very But at the very least, you can make a yoga studio, but you can't make them do. But you can't make them stop doing yoga in front of the resident services. So, it's what it is. But I can at least set set up his little fire spinning stage. We have some love. We have some lovely beach art along the beach. The beaches, and it, and if you're probably guessing, there's quite a few custom designs going on. Here yeah, we have uh, the we have this binary tree design that uh, would, would be the logo for for the regular Fuego, but decided to put, put, put get in here as well. Uh, so sick. Some nice little sand art tiles I worked on. Uh, a few different tie-dye, a few different tie-dye patterns. You probably noticed a couple of them with the uh, with the gift rug and the instrument uh, set set up there. Love this art. Uh, uh, my current attempts at trying to cultivate a blue rose. I have a it's making a lot of yellows and pinks, but uh, getting it to actually go make a blue is going to be—it's going to be a little tricky. I've gotten this far. I've gotten this far, but without uh, doing any time traveling, obviously, I'm, so, I'm admittedly having one hand time behind my back here. Plenty of the fruit trees go. Going on my nice little little movie night set up. Uh, again, showing off more more of those custom blanket tiles in the fringe. Going around the back. Going around the back. This stuff is actually some of the newest uh, stuff that I've worked on. I ended, I ended up recreating a friend's uh, ham radio set set up that they had in their backyard for uh, ARRL's field day, which was this past week weekend, and I apparently shot my mouth off and decided to go, hey, I can make that in Animal Crossing. Well, yeah, he liked it, so <laughs> can't have been that bad. And quite frankly, I believe Vladimir here I haven't really done a whole lot, a lot with getting him set up, and he got and considering that most of his theme is well, I'll show you. <laughs> That's yeah, he's a trash boy. 
He's my He's my trash boy, but he's still a trash boy. <laughs> yeah, well. But yes, unlike a couple of the unlike the other folks I've shown you so far, is it he hasn't lent lent himself to a good idea up to this point. Uh, if we actually look up here, you you'll see my current place with the DJ booth set set up with some rocket lamps. I may fi need to figure out a better place for those rocket lamps, or at least move Vlad so that uh, you can get a better shot out of it. We've got uh, we've got Audi here with uh, is it Audi? Yeah, it doesn't matter too hard. He's got, he's got a little fort, fortune telling hip, hippie library set, set up here. And I'll probably come up with some better stuff for her later. She's one of the newer folk, folks here. I want to say she's the most recent villager to move. move in a <laughs> bit of a funny story, but it works out nicely. Sure. Yep, wave to, wave to the folks on the camera. <laughs> so, still going with that. I uh, need to clean, the, need to clean up this setup. I just recent, recently finished putting together the Putting together this little feat, I actually had, had to debug a little bit at the, right at the end because I originally had a stone tablet here in the center where this pill, where this pillow is, and it was blocking this, and it was blocking this rock. Go, go figure. Even with everything we know about <laughs> play, about playing this game, there's still little glitches and bugs. That need to be found. Yeah. Gwen is also one of those one of those here who I haven't really done a huge amount of the camping with. So far, I'm trying to get some something worked out with the color wheels. Although you know, but just playing with the big wheels and doing some sort of high roller thing is only is only so interesting. So interesting. I probably need to go ahead, to go ahead and figure out something a little bit more. What? Ah, right. Goodness, I went to all this trouble to get the sound hooked up, and shame to have forgotten about it. There. We go. Especially as we've got this little bit of sound, this little bit of sound going off right here, and. Something nice and something nice and light going on here. We have over here. We have uh, Gre Greta and the Zen, Zen Labyrinth. I'll introduce y'all to Greta right, right off, just to see where we are with that. And get something good. Get something good. Sooner or later, we are to run into uh, one of these folks being a little bit more interesting, but. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> no. No, it didn't give me the option to get that into this. It's because she's sitting down. Yes, the Zen Lab. The Zen Labyrinth's actually been here longer than she has. I mean, she's been a villager for a while, but I ended up moving her to moving her to match the labyrinth because, well, look at that house. I mean, come on. But let's take a quick walk through, through the Zen Labyrinth. It's, you know, not, not a super complicated maze. It's one. It's one of those things you're supposed to walk slow, slowly and with intent and being, oh. Oh! 
Well, okay. I guess this got a little more interesting. <laughs> you know, usually I have to try to hit her. She's just hiding behind a tree, and even now she's... Okay, so I get... I guess let's continue this tour while, uh... While hunting for, uh, some... For some pieces of wisp. Great. Yes, of course it... The island's haunted. Everybody's island is haunted, but you don't expect it to actually show up in the first goddamn stream. <laughs> oh well. Uh oh. Oh, and I even got a little bit of "Hey, you don't have a net because I because I've been walking lazy." See about making a new one. Oh well. Let's get. Oh, well, let's get one whipped up in a hurry. Everything's closed, right? Okay, come on. Give me a... Really? Okay. Uh, as long as I don't hit any rocks, I guess we're fine. I'll go set up a to set up a toilet or deal with some trees. Mm -hmm. Easiest solution to this problem. And we may as well make it a good net because Lord knows I'm not getting Lord knows I'm not getting a golden net anytime soon. Ah, right. have a net, and let's just go ahead and get that net out so we can, so we can remember that we're supposed to be hunting down pieces. Okay. Okay, if she's just going to be sitting there, I think we're going to have to uh, deal with the Zen Labyrinth some other time. Some other time. Or, or at least take a few shortcuts. Done. That would have actually been a good situation to be walking slowly, now wouldn't it? Yeah, well. Ah, right. Hands are full. I can't pick up anything. I uh, did not expect to be having that kind of difficulty level for tonight. It's nice fun, but whatever. Let's do it. Okay, so that would have been the Zen Labyrinth, and you can sort of get the general idea. But I, uh, want, I actually wanted to go and show you some more stuff. So let's see if we can... There's another, there's another way to get around. For better or worse, I made a couple of little, I made a couple of little escape walk arounds like the stone stool here that allowed me to get past her and through the rest, through the rest of the labyrinth. So let's go ahead and take the, take those, make good use of them. Oh, I forgot I had this extra stool there as well. Hair on the ground. More running around. And here. Yeah, so here's the, the center of the Zen Labyrinth, a nice quiet place with some with some nice swinging benches and lots of nice running water and uh, and serene donking noises and uh, yeah, just intended as sort of a chip. Sort of a chill spot, but it. But this is not. 
as I said, this was one of the earlier pieces that I ended up at putting in on the island. So it, so it has a soft spot. The deer scares me. It's sort of me. Now the deer there. Ah, All right, now let's get on with the fact that, the, that I have this ghost sitting in the middle of my labyrinth and just taking up space. Cut through here. So now we get to continue on with the rest of the rest of the island tour. Give or take some ghost bits. Actually, darn it, we're still gonna have to get rid of an extra thing. But, well, I can throw I can throw some mums around here. I right, good. Ah yes, here we get to. See here we get to see Meringue's Cafe through the back entrance. You know, decided to decided that if Meringue was going to talk about baking and stuff, why well, let her have it? So she's got so she's got some nice oven. She's got a stand mixer. She's got, threw in the microwave just for the hell of it. Jukebox, jukebox, uh, some cake displays. Yeah. Some more custom work on stall, stall design. You get that? You get that feeling? Uh, yeah. So, spoiler alert: the villi the villagers that I actually like have this have this doormat. It helps me keep track of who of who's who and how close I am to actually getting all of the villagers. I like. I'm still making up my mind, but I know who I want. That's it. Let's say hello. Hello. You're pro probably noticing a few other a areas with what the Let's go ahead and duck over here real fast real fast since this part isn't really attached to any particular village isn't a camp attached to any particular villager, just setting up the uh, a new area with all of those wedding items from this guy from this past month. Set. Just because of that. Just another particular in-joke from uh, the Burning Man stuff is Having a wedding ceremony for yourself, you know, not, you know, actual weddings are a thing too, but, ma but marrying yourself, you know, hey, you, hey, you're the one who's got to live with yourself the rest of your life, right? <laughs> Probably makes more. Makes more sense with more folks around, but for right, for right now, just having a little beachside chapel, area. chapel area feels nice. Feels nice.
Uh, getting back to uh, getting back to burn stuff, we have the clothing exchange over here. Over here, complete with wardrobe if you would like to actually change your clothes. Change your clothes and a vanity if you want to freshen up your hairstyle. This one's floated around between a couple of different vill villages. I currently gave it to Tammy because, well, quite frankly. Well, quite frankly, she's Tammy. Oh, hey! Someone's crafting good! Oh, wait, right. Can't actually collect anything. Anything because my hand, well, my hand's still full. I did get rid of those yellow mums. Ooh. Do I already have a natural gun? Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll be fine either way. I guess someone's going to get a nice free, free DIY out of this. They're still full. Okay, fine, fine. I got it. Oh, right. Darn it. Well, time to go run. Time to go run out and empty my pockets. Shouldn't take too long. Now go back into that chair. Congratulations, Tammy. For once, something is more annoying than you are. <laughs> Let's get this up. Let's get this out of my pocket so they're no longer full. I'll go check that out later. <laughs> get the net back out. We are still supposed to be looking for some ghost bits, aren't we? Any of the porta potties because it because it's not a camp out if there's no porta potties. Otherwise you're otherwise you're just playing a game of a minesweeper in the woods, aren't you? Okay. Here's the effigy bony and there's a ghost bit. Okay, let's see if we can't get up. Don, it's close to the other side. Okay. Grab this and then I'll, I'll say hello to ship. <laughs> Come on! There! <sighs> That's a weird camera angle to be doing that up. More inflatable sofas, because, because Sherb is naturally lazy. So of course, so of course, I had to make a, a fairly lazy camp for him. Camp for him to run. So this. So go ahead and take a quick guess. Take a quick guess what the name is. Go on. It's Camp Float You Goat. Well, well, we get. Well, I made him a nice DJ set. 
DJ setup, so it's a bit better than mine, or it's got a little bit more space to go with it as well. I have a soft for DJ. I have a soft for DJ setup. Let's go ahead and. Check the map real quick, see if there's anything, anybody else's stuff I've missed. No, well, that's pretty. Well, that's pretty much it for. If and also. Next. So okay, we've covered the island. Next task: finding the, finding more of those ghost pieces. Because of course it. It's a freaking ghost, so if we just end the stream without finding all of the pieces, she's got she's going to haunt this channel. Try to do this in something resembling the most efficient way. Way to do this, which is uh, which is to say, we're going to run around the island like a like a crazy well. Fun. <laughs> yeah, that's no point checking the museum. Museum for pieces, they're all going to be outside somewhere, but uh, if you can't find them. But let's go ahead and do But let's go ahead and cut through the back and try and see if we can cut down on a few extra pieces being dealt with. Not some wolf roaches. Okay. What? Okay, seriously. No, that's literally like a piece of the oh, come on. up. Wait, what are you doing down there? Oh, for God's sake. She just expected me to at least stay on the... Expected me to at least stay in the labyrinth. What? Did you decide to just... Whatever. Whatever. Found the piece. Let's just... Oh, there is one more thing that more thing I forgot to show off in the eye before. This one's also a relatively new uh, addition. You know, besides the purple hyacinth, we've got uh, lovely little tour, lovely little tourist trap in the back of the pagoda. Just because I had to do, do the silly little force perspective trip, so. It is what it is. Once again. Yeah, now we can run clear through the back and hopefully avoid going through. And you probably notice I haven't shown. I haven't shown you my place yet. Well, I haven't really, I haven't really done a huge amount of it yet. So let's leave that. For, so let's leave that one for later. After all, we still have ghosts to hunt. Okay, let's go 
little bit of bamboo. A little bit of bamboo in the back. Have a bit of an outdoor bath here. Outdoor bath area because of course it's it seems to be one of those things you have to have. You have to have when you're talking about animal crossing customization. So, yeah, whatever. More weeds, okay. Get those lollies from. You know, obviously, obviously, we ha it's the end of June. We haven't really stuck. You know, there's still there's still plenty of time left to go before before the actual event and stuff might might be further customized and changed. I'm sure I'm going to you know clean up a lot of the of these flowers just before the big event. Let's eavesdrop. Uh oh. Nope. He's done for. <laughs> Purple's at least easier to rhyme. Nurple, purple, slowpoke. Yeah. Whatever. Actually, or orange is rhymable. It's just if you if you're prepared for it, but for it. the best one one that I've heard to rhyme with orange is to talk about the four is to talk about the four engineers that wore orange brassieres. I see this in the county rhyming with orange, but I got two pieces. Wee. I like Come on, I was joking about that haunting my haunting my Twitch stream. Come on. Come on, give me something here. We sort of skipped it before. And, uh... Ah, yes, we've got the island of Kentucky for some strange reason. Don't ask. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. Kentucky works. <laughs> yes, finally, the third piece, I know.
Oh, it's a shame my it's a shame my pockets are full. I'd love to catch some more of these fireflies before they go away in a couple days. I'm finding unexpected bits of child in this game. <laughs> On the one hand, I'm glad to have them. On the other, and on the other hand, this is not what I expected to get out of the game. Oh goodness! Okay. Okay, this is why you this is why your camp is nothing but inflatable, so for sure, come on. Not meant to be Say as a piece, okay. Oh. I think with all that practice from the bug off, I'd be in a much better position to catch these pieces. One, good. All right, come on. Yes. All right, look. All right, good, good. Now I can. Now we can return all the pieces and we can finish this live stream without having anything jinxed or jinxed or. Sorry about that. Oh. Girl, if you don't want me to run... Want me to spook you? Don't be hiding behind a tree in the labyrinth. Not something new, obviously. Oh, I actually don't have that yet. Okay. Time to go figure out what to do with the baby panda. Let's get out from behind uh, this hiding spot. Alright, this is good. This will be good enough. Oh, later, y'all. <laughs> 